What's up, Aquarius? This is Soul from Intuitive Tarot here to look at your week's energy starting um, September 16th, 2024. Aquarius, I hope all is well. This week I'm using one of Cyril Marchetti's tarot decks. I'm not sure if this is the uh, Tarot of Dreams or whatever deck it is. I'm not reading reversals. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to cleanse the energies from Doran Capricorn's messages and we're going to see what's coming up for my aquas this week. Energies for Aquarius. What is the potential energy for Aquarius? All right, here we go, Aquarius. The first card in this energy for you. We're going to start off with the... Ten of Cups. All right. How pleasing is that? Ten of Cups is one of those cards. Um, first and foremost, it's an even number of cups. The cups represent relationships, other people, your family, your romantic partners, your friends. So, of course, it could be in the form of celebrations, parties, weddings, uh, even number of cups. What you give out emotionally is what you're going to get back in return. And that includes your animals, your pets. Um, so, yeah, that's the Ten of Cups. So we start off with the Ten of Cups here for you on top of that. Okay, now, the Death card, Major Arcana, however, is about major, <clears throat> major life transformation. So whatever the Death card means for you, and never ever physically denotes death, that it just, you know, simply means that there's some sort of ending here that needs to take place. And then once you identify whatever that ending is, then there's something new that's going to always replace that, okay? But keep in mind, it may just be um, a thought process or it could be material things, you know, getting rid of stuff that, you know, you no longer need or is useful. Um, but because it's, you know, it sits on the Ten of Cups, which is about relationships, there may be some sort of parting. Um, unfortunately, it's some sort of parting of the ways here. That's how I'm going to read it. An ending to a relationship. Now, that could be friendships, that could be uh, romantic. Now, when it comes to the family, you don't really, you know, end family relationships. You can distance yourself and still love them at a distance, but you don't really disconnect like that from family. But it could be a disconnect from a friend or a uh, romantic partner. Um, hopefully, neither of that comes true. But anyway, I'm reading it as such. Six of Pentacles is the card of um, gift giving, charitable energies. So you may be uh, receiving a gift, giving a gift. Apology may be forthcoming from someone. There still could be a pay raise coming in. Equal number of Pentacles, so it's balanced energy. Following the Six of Pentacles, now it's the Three of Cups. Happiness, joy, celebration someone's birthday anniversary of course spending the quality time mirrors over here to the ten of cups with family members friends romantic partners still could be co-workers after work for happy hours there is a need to be happy joyous and in the form of celebration see how that turns out all right so on top of that now you have the will of fortune major arcana that's the card of uh, well, it's one of the big money cards, first and foremost, but anything that was um, unfortunate for you uh, may turn around and be fortunate for you this week by the stroke of the will of fortune. Fate and destiny, you may be somewhere with something that you're destined um, or fated to have, all right? If you're the risk-taking uh, Aquarius that likes to gamble, play casinos, go to casino runs, I'm sorry, play scratch-offs. Play the lottery. Just play responsibly. This is big, big money here. You have luck on your side all week. Following the Wheel of Fortune, now we have, yep, here's the money card right here. Knight of, <laughs> the Knight of uh, Pentacles here. And this is the card of, one of my cards of financial independence. Are you striving to be or you already are? This still could be a promotion, a job offer, or a contract offer. Could be a startup of a business. May be very fortunate for some Aquarians this week because this card follows the, and it's in the direction of the Wheel of Fortune. So money could come in your hands by either a stroke of luck or some other type of energy. 
I could use that and look, here's more money. Ace of Pentacles is up next here and this is always reported as the unlimited amount of money that you have, Aquarius, the potential of earning. Some of you may regard the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, as well as the uh, Ace of Pentacles as you finally starting to see that your uh, financial situation is starting to stabilize and feel grounded. Money is starting to uh, accumulate or build up, right? So this could be starting a business, um, investing, saving, you name it. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. On top of the Ace of Pentacles, now we have the World Card. So you have the major arcana of the world card that sits on top of the Ace of Pentacles. And the world card is all about opportunities, right? Opportunities are lurking around you this week. Um, it mirrors over here to the Wheel of Fortune. So something about to occur. Wow. Like the death card. However, there is a chapter. It mirrors over here to the death card. So like a chapter is ending. Again, it may be, you know, um, to the message that I have said about someone parting ways in a relationship or it may not be, but there is a chapter that's ending. There's a new chapter that's going to replace that old chapter. This also, too, represents relationships, Aquarius. Wow. Then we have the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is the happiness card. Again, like the Three of Cups in the form of celebrations, birthdays, anniversaries, someone could be getting married, someone could be deciding to that they want to move, relocate to a different area with the money cards here, purchase a, a property or purchase a home, um, engagements, proposals um, take place, family members deciding to move in with one another, um, romantic partners deciding to uh, move in with one another, friends deciding to move in with one another. Always the shared happiness inside the structure of a building. Now, however, I do feel that um, the Four of Wands, even though it's the happiness card, we do have the Ten of Cups that involves all relationships. So we have the Death card. So this is interesting. So it could be that someone is um, either... Well, the Death card could signal not only, you know... Not just a parting of the ways, but it could be a parting of the ways, but it could be that someone moves out of and away from someone that they were connected to, if that makes sense at all. So, for instance, could be, you know, um, maybe a son or a daughter who's old enough to, you know, financially stand up on their own, decide to part ways with mommy and daddy and siblings or it's the, um, you know, could be the shack up, the people who, the friends and stuff that family members and move together or whatever. And now it's time to, you know, move out on their own. So that could be that what I'm seeing there in terms of the death card combination. Then we have more money. Now we have the queen of pentacles. See, that money is strong here for us, Aquarius. Wow. She is the queen of pentacles. This is your boss. This is the creditors. This is the uh, promotion. This is the pay raises, the um, bonus money, business partnerships, money and resources becoming strong and available. Romantically, it could be someone that comes along, you know, for the single Aquarians out there specifically. And this person is already doing well for themselves. They got pocket change. They're good money handlers they're you know like the finer things of life they're stable they're dependable they're reliable always willing to share though they're not ever coming across as stingy or selfish her facing the four of wands which is the structure of a building someone like i said before could be um purchasing property or purchasing um a home making settlement then we have the uh, Five of Swords. Five of Swords is on top of that queen. So there's conflicting energies that may be going on for some Aquarians involving their workplace. If it is, it's just minor. You know, some things that you have to sort out. Uh, it may be involving promotions, pay raises, or, you know, um, adjustments or readjustments in the workplace environment. You have to understand, too, that um, 
the five of swords for me, I read, you have to be careful that someone is not playing mind games or head games with you. Okay. And then also you may possess something um, that someone else is envious of. Now, since it's landing on the uh, queen of pentacles is up above or below the uh, six of pentacles, this is mental shit going on for Aquarians that they have to be uh, on alert when it comes to your co-workers, somebody playing mind games or head games, trying to mess with you. So be careful of that this week. Then we have the, ooh, now you got the lovers. Major Arcana, the lovers. So when the lovers is in your spread, of course, yeah, it's, uh, look at that, it's over. It's underneath the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Cups. This is all about partnerships. Existing partnerships or the potential partnerships coming together, that which include business partnerships. When the lovers is in your spread, any types of, this is how I read though, any types of uh, interactions or dealings with anyone, whether it's your family, friends, co-workers or whatever, it should be an even playing field because you're on the same page with everyone this week. You're seeing eye to eye with everyone this week. Um, it could be just spending that quality time with your romantic partners, family members, and or friends. Okay. You lovers have the capacity to unite all of the relationships, bring them forth, bring them together, romantic, platonic. Then we have the three of swords. Now, this is very interesting. Three of swords is here. In light, it could be seen as the reduction of the five of swords that you've worked on some, you know, internal, external conflicting energies. But by itself, separation, grief and heartache, divorces, pending divorces, third party in play when it comes to romance, pet loss, pet gets away, families left grieving. Could be three painful decisions or choices for you to make this week that may or may not be involving family members, friends, romantic partners. Couples that are still together, there may be distance that separates you. But whatever this Three of Swords means for you, it is here, but it's not going to be meant for everyone. I can't uh, stress that enough. On top of that Three of Swords, however, it is the Chariot. Okay, so now the Chariot is here. Very positive, major arcana that I equate with your, you know, our own energy, the star card. So again, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled and manifested. So whatever it is that you're hoping for, praying for, to manifest this week may show up for you. Um, of course, some of you may be, um, you know, in terms of moving. There's some positive force, very positive force, Aquarius, that's moving towards you. There's a rapid change of energy, and it's always the rapid change of positive, you know, pos yeah, positive attitudes or positive situations. Uh, also, too, because it lands on the Three of Swords, just be careful of, uh, you know, flat tires or um, problems with your tires on your vehicles, because I will still read this as... Um, you know, vehicle repairs, major or minors. Not to disregard the speeding limit while you're driving, because if you do, you may end up with a moving violation. Social media, social networking equated with the star card. So it could be just a greater expansion of that energy for Aquarius this week or something. Could be something specific related to social media. All right, so the very last card in this spread for you is the Seven of Cups. So you finish off with the Seven of Cups, Aquarius, and that actually is a beautiful card because the Seven of Cups is about options. It's about, you know, all relationships, greater dedication, devotion, um, being either extended from you to others or it's being, you know, um, it's coming towards you from others. Making sure that you are trusting your intuition if you're presented with any types of options this week. This is an interesting spread. All right, but nonetheless, this is what I have for you. So from Intuitive Tarot, Aquarius, take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. Um, please like the video, share the video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, you guys have a nice, safe, great week ahead. Come back and get more of these messages from me. 
and I will talk to you soon. Bye.